Hello everyone, welcome to Read Advice. Today, we're reviewing the psychological thriller film, The Devil All the Time. The film is based on the 2011 novel of the same name by Donald Ray Pollock and stars an ensemble cast led by Tom Holland. The film is set between World War II and the Vietnam War and chronicles the lives of several people across several years around the area of Mead, Ohio. Their lives will be connected in ways that will test their faiths, beliefs, convictions, and ultimately moralities. At the center of this chaos is Arvin Russell, played by Tom Holland, who, even at a very young age, has had a tumultuous life and his future looking as stark as his past experiences. Now before we start with our review on The Devil All The Time, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can also give a like, share this video, or leave a comment to show your support to our channel. At almost two and a half hours long, The Devil All The Time takes its sweet time to develop and unveil its secrets. But early on in the film, it already sets its overall tone, one that is bleak, hopeless, and full of grievous actions that make it a very tiring and very exhausting experience. And its title doesn't lie as we find devils and evils in almost every corner and almost every character from start to finish. So if you want something that will cheer you up, then you should probably pass watching the devil all the time as there are literally no high points in this film that could be summed up as a feel-good moment. Putting its heavy tone aside, we won't deny that the film was exquisite to look at. The cinematography and production values were amazing and had a tendency to suck us into its rural and highly devout setting easily. It also helps that the acting from the cast was powerful, especially for Tom Holland who found a way to successfully portray a disturbed and scarred young man with his own demons and sins in a portrayal very far from what we typically see from him. As for the writing, we actually have mixed feelings. While the themes explored were dark, twisted, and ultimately thought-provoking, there's this lack of character development that left us severely hanging. The film heavily revolves around the character of Arvin Russell, which left several other main characters without enough time to really develop their personas. For example, we wanted to know more about the psyche of the serial killers Carl and Sandy Henderson, but the film only shows them luring hitchhikers without enough backstory or context for their motivations. In the end, The Devil All The Time is harrowing and exhausting, even more so in this backdrop of being stuck at home and a foreboding sense of hopelessness for the past six months. The film impacts you with the heavy perception of a non-stop spiral towards doom, and while the film showcases the grim and sadistic realities of life in a very striking manner, it really begs the question if we really needed this kind of extreme film in our lives today. Our rating for The Devil All The Time is 3.5 reels out of 5. So if you've reached this point in our video, thank you for watching our review. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe.